Hello and welcome back to Coach Creating. Today's topic is continuing Napoleon Hill's theory about the th uh, six ghosts of fear. I nearly said three then. Um, and this one is all about the fear of ill health. So Jasmine, do you want to sort of start us off by like telling me what your kind of thoughts are on fear around ill health? Do you fear it yourself? Do you see it a lot in people that you know? Um, yeah, it's an interesting question. Uh, I'm just trying to think. I think fear of ill health. At the moment, I don't. I don't mm -hmm. think. Um, but it's because I'm always trying to think. I always say to myself, um, you know, I'm healthy. I'm happy. You know, I try to say these things to me all the time. So maybe I'm even scared of even thinking about the fear of ill health, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I, I try not to even let that in. But um, because I'm much more aware now of, you know, your thoughts. So if you were yeah. in a room with, where everybody else have got a cold and they're sneezing and coughing, that what would be your thoughts going through your head? Um, yeah, probably I don't want to catch anything. <laughs> well, no, but that's not necessarily a fear, is it? It's just like, I don't want to catch this. So that's not necessarily like, oh, my God, because I... The reason I yeah, I wouldn't be question, scared. I wouldn't be scared. No, the reason I and it's sometimes this isn't even a fear. I don't think what I'm going to describe is I've got I've got friends I know that would say I'm going to get a cold. Oh, I see what you mean. They'll know that they're going to get a cold and they'll actually sort of almost like you were saying about affirming your good health. They will affirm that they're going to get a cold. Like, And it's almost like they're resigned to it. It's not right, a fear. Okay, I'm not okay. like fearing it, but it's all it's like basic, basically like oh, I'm going to get cold now. Whereas I'm the opposite. If I'm in a room, if I'm in a room with people who've got, all got colds, I usually, like you, I'm thinking, I'm not going to get this. I am not going to get this. I am not going to get this. Yeah, I'm exactly. Totally yeah, yeah, or stay away, <laughs> keep your distance or something. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think that's interesting. So what do you mean about fear then? So, so fear is, is, is it's the next level, isn't it? Where, you know, say you've got somebody who's with you, who's got cold, whatever, and you, you're scared you're going to get cold and because of maybe you've got plans for the next week or maybe you've got a, oh. um, I don't know. A good example. When I was, when I was, um, my, my young, um, my youngest son was a baby. He got chicken pox and um, I had a friend come around. This was before he was diagnosed and confirmed. <laughs> And he was really like um, fractious. He was really not in a good way. Didn't know what was wrong with him. And my friend Amanda, she she went off, she went home. And then the next morning he got like a couple of bubble spots on his neck. And I thought, oh my God, he's got chicken pox. I phoned Amanda. She was getting married the, week, the next week. She'd not had chicken pox. So she was scared. And that's the, type, that's the kind of sort of thing that I'm talking right, about. Right, I see theory. what you mean now. So you, there's a reason why you, you don't want to get it, or there's a reason why if you get it, you're worried that X, Y, Z will happen. So it's that kind of, you know, that big sort of uh, challenge, I guess. But fortunately, yeah. good story, she didn't get it. She, oh. she got married, it was all fine. Was she worried? <laughs> Did you say she had fear of getting it? She was worried oh, when she, she found out. But she didn't get then, it. And I mean, okay. I was praying that she, she wouldn't get it, and she was praying she wouldn't get it. But she'd never had it so... You know, she was in her mid twenties, and having not had chicken pox up until that yeah. point, she's probably got a natural immunity. But, so, but are you saying so? Napoleon Hill was saying um, in Think and Grow Rich that the more you fear it, it's more likely to happen, or not? I think that's what's that's the basis of his hypothesis was that yeah, fear if you fear it, and it doesn't necessarily be, mean a specific illness. It could be you know fear illness generally. You can draw it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's, there's Cause several, it's funny because yeah. I, I always I hear people often say, "Oh, I'm always ill" or something. Yeah, and um, but then that's not a fear, is it? It's like just saying no, no. But they may have that fear in them that if somebody else is ill, they'll be fearing that they'll get it as well. Right. Like, okay. Okay. You know, so it's a belief as well. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. It's, yeah. No, it's very interesting. Okay. Well, we're going to continue this now on your page. Yes. So indeed. come and join us or watch the replay. Yeah. See you soon.